All right, so today uh, I want to talk a little bit about the Victron Smart Shunt um, and how I've installed it and how it seems to be working so far and how that all that installation um, went on. I was looking for something to monitor the battery, to monitor, uh, you know, the urn and burn in my system since um, I have several charging sources. I've got the alternator, I've got solar, um, and I've got a shore power charger. So let's, uh, let's do a quick orientation into my electrical system and then we'll go into more detail about installing the smart shunt and what kind of advantages that it's given me. I'm Mike. And I'm Becky. And we're going off grid together. We love traveling to outdoor destinations all over the world. And after a fun trip with a teardrop trailer last year, we decided to do the van conversion thing. While times have changed, we're pressing ahead with our conversion and getting outside wherever possible. Come along with us and our friends as we build our van and go off grid, yo. All right, so here is the electrical panel um, in our van that we call the Rocinante. Um, really the center of things is this Renogy uh, DCC50S. So what that does is that allows current to come from the alternator um, as well and then distributes that current out to the electrical system and to be able to charge the battery. Um, Part of that and an accessory that we'll talk about um, a little bit later is this Bluetooth dongle called the BT2, which is compatible with the Renogy DCC50S um, DC to DC charger. Um, also, uh, uh, also uh, has solar inputs, so we've got sort of a temporary solar because we haven't mounted the panels yet. So that's sort of the center of things. Um, it charges a battery which is under this bench and you can see the battery over here um, This battery is one that I already had um, it's in a trolling motor box um, really kind of used as a portable uh, Solar generator backup for my CPAP machine and that sort of thing, but that's inside there We've got a battle born on order and uh, when that comes in we'll be able to just swap that out Power is distributed um, through these bus bars. Um, from the bus bars, it goes to the loads. We go by something called a um, battery protect, also from Victron. And we've got uh, the ubiquitous uh, Blue Sea Systems um, 12 volt distribution and fuse box. The other charging source we've got here is this NOCO Genius 10. It's a 10 amp. Um, AC to DC charger. Um, if we zoom in here you can see that it's got profiles for a variety of different uses and different battery chemistries um, and gives you a lot of really good information about what's going on with it. So what that does is um, that plugs into where the shore power comes in and you may have seen that in another video um, and then that shore power is distributed to this charging unit right here um, as well as to a couple of other points in the van. So let's uh, focus in on um, the smart shunt. So originally I had um, a battery monitor that had a shunt similar to this and by a shunt it's something that connects to these negative terminals um, and it watches current going in and coming out. It also measures the accurately measures the voltage of the house battery inside this um, inside this cabinet. It also has some extra ports. So the smart shunt has a couple of extra ports. One of them measures the voltage of the vehicle battery, which is handy to know. Um, and the other one takes a accurate charge, this one goes back to the battery, so that it's not really polluted by what else is going on in this in the electrical system over here. Now all that information is created and stored in the smart shunt. 
So you're asking, okay, how do you access that information? Well, we're going to cut to that and I'll show you the app. All right, so let's take a look at how the app works um, for the Victron unit. Um, start it up, we get a little intro, and then it sees what devices that it recognizes. And in this case, you know, we've got the battery protect down below and we've got the smart shunt up above. So let's tell it to connect and you'll see that it's making the connection and really fast and brings up a whole bunch of information so one of the first things is just gives you a general percentage of charge um, gives you the voltage of the battery um, current going in and out at this point we've got 3.3 amps going out basically the refrigerator is running and that translates to 42 amps um, tells us how much total amp hours have been consumed and then gives a uh, estimate of how much time we have left if we continue along this path. Then the other thing, uh, the handy thing, is it gives us a, a voltage of the vehicle battery. Um, and in this case, the vehicle is not running and that connection is, uh, has been shut down. So there may be some sort of residual voltage. Oops. So that's pretty cool information to know. And the cool thing about this is it's it's in your hand, so you can access it if you're in the driver's seat, if you're in bed, um, if you're just hanging out, um, wherever you are, wherever you have your phone, you have this information um, within Bluetooth range. Um, it does have provisions for doing it worldwide, but we'll cover that we'll cover that at another time. So the other thing is is it can show you some historical data, which is pretty interesting. So basically what the deepest discharge, the last discharge, average discharge, cumulative um, amp hours drawn from the system, um, how much discharged energy, how much charged in energy, in this case we've done uh, one kilowatt hour, um, total charge cycles, time since the last full charge, number of full discharges, um, and battery voltage min and max history and same for the starter battery. So the amp is the the app is uh, pretty full featured and uh, and pretty cool. I like it a lot. So a little bit about the installation. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, you want to install it um, as close as practical to the um, negative terminal of your battery bank. And in this case, it's just right over in this right over in this box. Um, basically, you just uh, you can cut that and put a couple of, um, a couple of lugs on there. Um, in my case, I already had a, an inexpensive battery monitor with a shunt, so I just replaced it with uh, with what was already there. Screw it to the wall. Um, screw in those two terminals. Um, add the the battery positive over there to me that measures the battery positive and by the way powers the unit I'm guessing um, and then decide what you want to use the aux port for you can use it for um, a couple of different things you could uh, accurately measure battery temperature um, and that's all something that's available in the settings of the app but as you can see it's it's a pretty small addition it's pretty inexpensive for what it does and you get you know that legendary Victron quality those people really know what they're doing um, because their briar patch is really uh, the boating industry and uh, that's much more robust requirements than than RV um, and uh, it really you know it, it pairs up nice with the Victron battery protect which is over here which basically allows me to set a shutdown battery voltage so that the battery isn't drawn past where it might do some damage to it. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an overview of uh, the Victron Smart Shunt. It's a pretty new device on the market from what I can tell. There's not a lot out there on it. Um, and I hope that this helps, helps you decide whether you want to do it and understand what it can do for you.